The mark of the beast in the book of Revelation is not the first time we've seen markings on the hand and forehead. In Ezekiel 9, there's a vision from God saying to put a mark on the hand and forehead of those who lament over the detestable things done in Jerusalem. If you didn't have the mark, you were slaughtered. So it was good to have the mark. In Deuteronomy 6, God says to tie the commandments on your hand and to bind them on your forehead. That was good too. But in Revelation, the second beast causes people to take the mark of the beast on their hands and forehead. But what no one talks about is immediately after that passage, God talks about the 144,000 who did not defile themselves, who followed the Lamb of God and his name and his father's name were written on their foreheads. So the question is, who controls your thoughts and your actions, your beast nature or the spirit of God?